So if you think about last week, for example, how many times did you get angry last week? Did everyone get angry last week? If you didn't get angry last week, <laughs> so pretty much everyone got angry last week at some point, or frustrated, or, or annoyed, or whatever. Right. Now, anger is a capping emotion. In other words, anger is an emotion that covers over these huge other emotions inside of you that you don't want to feel. And so what happens is when we don't want to feel them, because those emotions feel powerless to feel, what we do is we want to have a powerful feeling within ourselves, so we create this anger within ourselves to actually overcome these terrible emotions that we need to feel inside of ourselves. So every time I'm angry, I'm doing that. Every single time. So if you think about last week, just ponder about how many times you were angry last week, you start realising that every single time you were angry last week, you were covering over an emotion inside of yourself. That's a bit of a scary proposition, really, in itself, isn't it? What emotions are you covering over when you get angry? How many of you wanted to blame someone else when you were getting angry? Isn't that why you got angry? Like, oh, they did that for me, or that person did that. But in reality, something was inside of yourself that you were covering over right at that moment. So, so yes. if, you, if in that moment when you're feeling angry, you decide to make a conscious decision, I actually want to locate what is causing this anger, how do you do that? Well, it's not about your mind, for a start. <laughs> okay. right? the, the fact that you're already in anger means that you've already made a conscious choice to not feel what's underneath. Okay. okay. Do, you, do you understand that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The reason for your anger, in fact, is because there's already a decision that's already been made to deny what's underneath. And so the first thing I really need to say is, I'm really angry. I need to acknowledge the truth. What was the situation that caused the anger? I need to acknowledge that this situation creates anger in me. And I also need to acknowledge that when I'm angry, I'm actually covering over the real emotion that I need to feel and release inside of myself, right at that moment. But I'm not going to be able to make a conscious choice to do that, okay. because the anger is already a soul-based choice, a feeling-based choice, to not feel that emotion. You follow me? Yes. So every time I'm in a state of anger, I've already made a choice to get away from the underlying emotion. Right at that moment, I've already made the choice. And I need to acknowledge that, that this was my choice. My anger is my choice. So a soul-based choice is always in charge rather than a head-based totally. choice. Totally. And that's the main thing to understand, that this is the real you. So what's the real you? It's your passions. So I'll just write some of these things down. Your desires your intentions, your emotions, and inspiration, aspiration, free will, memories, all of that, all of that is the real you. That is not your body. So here, next to that, is your body, your spirit body, and your material body. You've got two bodies. When mum and dad had sex and conceived you, they conceived two bodies. They conceived a spirit body and a material body, and your soul was attracted to those two bodies and connected to them. And it connected to them because it needs these bodies to experience itself. It needs the bodies to experience its own self while it's a half of a soul. Remember, this is a half of a soul. You are a half of a soul, right? You're not a complete soul, half of a soul. 